Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode 567. Interview with BioBalance Health patient, John Baer. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Moffat, medical director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. Today we have a special guest. His name is John Baer, and he's quite an amazing guy on his own without talking about pellets. He's 62 and doesn't look anything close to that. And he is has been a vice president of Schnucks, which is a grocery chain in St. Louis. Also the a VP of Hussman Corporation in St. Louis. He's a mechanical engineer. He's brilliant. I mean, he grew up on a farm in Missouri. He's a Missouri born and bred, and he was one of eight children. Yes. You had good parents. Man, <laughs> that's amazing that you could you could have all of those qualities and, and background and be one of eight. So you must have gotten some attention. <laughs> so I was in the middle. You were in the middle, yeah. so you're the peacemaker. <laughs> right. So uh, today we we would like to talk about John's John's introduction to pellets and how he decided after his wife Marcia came in and got pellets and and was much better and liked to have sex again. Um, <laughs> then what else actually caused him to decide to come in? And I think you you had started to tell me about um, Marcia bringing. Our book for men home is that is right. that what happened? Right, recommended reading. <laughs> <laughs> Got testosterone. Anyway, uh, about a year ago, I came to see Dr. Sullivan mm -hmm. at your practice, mm -hmm. and uh, it was on the recommendation of my wife, who had been seeing you for, I guess, five years at the time, mm -hmm. and then uh, she recommended I read this book, which I did, and learned a lot about all of the things that testosterone uh, is important for in our mm -hmm. health and how it can help our overall health. Mm -hmm. And I had some things going on at the time where uh, I was looking at my heart health mm -hmm. and was probably going to go on a, a statin drug. Mm -hmm. And I came in and, and said, you know, must I do this or are there mm -hmm. other things I can do? Mm -hmm. so that's what brought me in to Good. The practice. Good. So, and I, I think you had a cardiac calcium scan. Is right, that right? Right. And so, and that was just a little, you know, you just had a little bit of calcium, but still, um, the mainstream doctors put people on statins. We usually try to get your cholesterol down in other ways, and testosterone helps that as well. So, uh, but it's the whole package. It's testosterone pellets, and then it's also the uh, fact that you followed Dr. Sullivan's direction and change diet, exercise, things like that, and, right. and still do that and you stay with it. Right. So um, this is one of the things I was um, curious about is most most men come in because of sex stuff, basically. It's not working, or I don't have any desire, or um, it, it usually isn't about your health. But, but if you come in for your health, then that's just a happy, <laughs> happy side effect that your sex life gets better. Definitely. Now, I, I was told that you would tell us about the improvement or how your sex life got better or some type of situation that everyone would enjoy hearing. <laughs> it, goes <back> to, <laughs> it goes back to when Marcia began taking the pellets, which uh, a year ago I started, but she started six years mm -hmm. ago. So she was five years on them at the time. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, when she got her first pellets, you know, she had very low sex drive and some other things going on. But mm -hmm. it was around, uh, let's say, the 1st of December. And mm -hmm. so it takes a little while, but right around Christmas, 
oh my goodness. <laughs> you got your Christmas present. My <laughs> wife had her sex drive back, and I called it the Christmas miracle. <laughs> <laughs> That's Things great. were swelling up and getting moist all over the oh, place. I oh, don't know good. if we can say that. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah, my, my listeners yeah. are pretty adult. <laughs> okay. So it was wonderful. And, uh, and so it just continued? Fast forward. Yeah, it continued. Okay. And, uh, okay. You know, she, she did this a week ago with you, and they could go back and hear about all mm-hmm. the things that happened in her mm-hmm. overall health. But, but yes, the the sexual relationship is terrific. It's remained that way. Mm-hmm. And, and I didn't think... I had too much of a, I didn't have a loss of sex drive. My uh-huh. libido I thought was okay, you know, before. But I think with uh, a lot of things with men's health, it's kind of a slow degradation. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You start to put on some love handles and you kind of get the man boobs uh-huh. and you might get a little loss of sex drive. And you don't notice it because it happens gradually. Slowly. But if you can turn that around which we did, Mm -hmm. and it kind of comes back, not gradually, but quickly, Mm -hmm. (laughs) then you realize, oh, my goodness, this is what it was like 30 years ago, 20 years ago, Mm -hmm. and I didn't know that it could still be like this. I just Mm -hmm. thought that's what happens when you get old. And I think that's a common thought. (laughs) That's a common thought is like, oh, yeah, this is normal. Getting old is just normal. It's really, I mean, getting old, everyone gets older. But we don't have to be sick and not have a good sex life and not have not have our health and and not have our body. I mean, you can get your body composition back mm-hmm. with this. Mm-hmm. And it's one of those things that if you don't do pellets and you do everything else, you're still not going to get your body composition back. Because you have to have testosterone to get blood to your muscles and to have your muscles grow and, and to get rid of the belly fat. Mm-hmm. So even though we have all of these, you know, here, do this diet, here, do this exercise, well... That's well and good, but it's not going to last unless you have the basic replacement of the hormones you had when you were younger. So, and you you know all of that. Were there any illnesses that ran in your family that you were hoping to prevent? Because testosterone does help prevent diseases. Well, there's a history of diabetes in Mm -hmm. my family. My father had it, type 2, all his Mm -hmm. life, and and, uh, I have a sister who has it, so... um, I had concern that there might be potential for mm-hmm. that for me. I'm I'm not diabetic and I'm not pre-diabetic, but uh, I wanted to avoid that. Good. And, so. and weight gain causes that to be more likely to happen as you as you get older, and that's one of the things that we attend to to make we check you every year, make sure that your insulin's not going up, your hemoglobin A1C is not going up, and we don't have to do any intervention. So the on we try to ongoing on an ongoing basis, kind of try to. Make sure that nothing else is intervening that is going to make you sick. Because my goal isn't just you're going to have a great sex life or you're going to have, I mean, I want you to, and I want you to have a great marriage. But our goal is to make you healthier. And that's the reason we've chosen pellets instead of some other form of testosterone, because they don't make you healthier. But this does. And I love that when I come to the office, Dr. Sullivan um, sits down and goes through all of my blood work and explains everything so well. Mm-hmm. And I can see where I'm making progress. And it's only been a year, but things are mm-hmm. much better. And I never got that from my primary care doctor. Mm-hmm. And when I wanted to go see a cardiologist, I mean, he just looked at my cardiac scan and said, oh, statin, you know. Well, now on Doc Sullivan's mm-hmm. recommendation, I'm seeing another cardiologist, mm-hmm. Dr. Twyman, and... Uh, so I feel like I'm really looking at my overall health. You are. And Dr. Detail. Twyman's and very preventive. Yes. And he's he's great. We love to work with him. So it goes hand in hand with yeah. all that we're doing here. Yeah. yeah. And I and my goal is for you to never be taken care of by somebody else, to be completely independent till the end of your all of our lives, you know, that we can that we have a full life, we can travel, we can walk, we can I mean, if you lose your mobility, then aging gets to be really tedious. But you can actually live your life all the way to the end. So that's what we're looking for. So, um, do you know, had you had any problems? I mean, when we, I, I don't know the answer to this because Dr. Sullivan was taking care of you, but were there any glitches as you, uh, as we got you to where you are now in terms of dosage or anything? Um, actually, no, I would say no problem. She's tweaking. Um, the testosterone to get the total and the free testosterone mm-hmm. right. And I think what I found in the September miracle when I first mm-hmm. went on them, everything was fantastic. But uh, 
some of the pellets are not as long lasting right. as some of the others. Mm -hmm. And so towards the end of the five months or whatever it was mm -hmm. till the second visit, it seemed like mm -hmm. things were tapering off a bit. Right. And she said, well, that's kind of, it happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. So now we're just adjusting, like putting mm -hmm. some more of the long lasting ones mm -hmm. in there. So I, I think, you know. It's it so nice when people pay attention. You know exactly what we're doing. Because when <laughs> I say that, I'm not sure that anybody's really hearing me. The long lap, you know, the bigger pellets actually last longer, so eight eight months. But they get to a point where at six months, usually you need to be redosed. So we give you a lot of the smaller ones at first to, to fill up all your receptor sites. Throughout your body, you have receptor sites that are empty if you don't have a lot of testosterone. We give you the smaller ones to, to just kind of fill them all up, and then we give you a bunch of, uh, as well, we also give you the larger ones. As they're all filled up, you don't need those those small ones anymore. Gotcha. Then we change them all to the longer acting ones so that you have a an even blood blood level until the the next ones are put in. Uh -huh. That's also what I don't like about the other types of testosterone because they go up and down and up and down. And men, you guys are used to having the same level every day. I mean, your whole life you've had the same level every day. It doesn't feel good for you to go up and down and up and down. And it didn't feel good for us either because that gave us PMS. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, it's the goal is to have like an even, you know, kind of level and not drop below what's good for you. Um, what if people, I know, I, I know Marcia told us about what people have said to, as a couple, but what if like your friends said, I mean, are you, my, my husband's friends, God love them, I love them all, but the ones that aren't on pellets, look really old and they always say you're cheating <laughs> and john just says my john says i'm not cheating i'm doing what i have to do to stay well and stay healthy and if i look better great you know so what do they say do you have that kind of response from your yeah, old friends or friends and and family my own adult children say my gosh dad you look great you <laughs> lost weight and you added muscle That's so nice up, and you just look Terrific. You're very active. And so it's nice to hear that. From Especially family. your children. Yeah. That's really neat. So, yeah. and, um, be, and being 62, you're younger than Marsha. So you're going to have to keep up with her. <laughs> she looks way younger yeah. than me. No, she's, well, she looks young, but you both look young. So, um, what, what do you do for exercise? And, and I know that you both eat together, but I mean, do you concentrate on any certain foods or? Or shakes, or yeah, paid attention to your <laughs> lift in here. But she and I together, and I think it's wonderful if couples can do this mm -hmm. together because it's so much easier to be motivated. But you know, we've cut sugar out to a large degree. We're mm -hmm. watching our carbs. We're more on the proteins mm -hmm. and the good fats and the fruits and the mm -hmm. vegetables. So we're Perfect. watching our diet and exercise. Now I'm an outdoor kind of guy, mm -hmm. so I get a lot of exercise. <laughs> We live on 38 acres. We have a 140-acre farm. So I'm all outdoors doing many things. But mm -hmm. in between time, I do lift weights to try to mm -hmm. add more muscle mass mm -hmm. and uh, do the cardio in the wintertime. Sometimes I'm on the elliptical. Mm -hmm. And she and I each got, as a gift from our kids, one of these MyZone monitors that monitors your heart rate mm -hmm. and estimates calorie burned and mm -hmm. Great. Maps, whatever. So it's a little bit competitive and we're all oh, shooting for Oh, so we're all, we're competing now. That's, yeah. it's really funny. So we don't compete in our, in our uh, couple, but my daughter and my daughter, my son-in-law, they are so competitive. And some couples that really does motivate everything. And it, that's really cool that you could do that with exercise and, and weight loss and getting better. It's been fun. It's been a year. And yeah. I've lost... Oh, 20 ish pounds, and I've probably added five or more pounds of muscle mass, so I guess I've lost 25 yeah. pounds of fat or right. water or something. And, and uh, yeah, mm. my pants are falling off me. I used to wear 36s. And <laughs> they have tailors for that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to get rid of all your pants. You can just, set. but my husband did that and he had, he lost weight. And now the pockets, they go, he's, they go, we yeah. can't take these in. The pockets are me. <laughs> Touchy. <laughs> So we, uh, but yeah, so you have to buy some new clothes. Oh, well. <laughs> that's a good thing if, yeah. you're, if you're going that direction, not the other Yeah, direction. that's right. And so, true. So I'm glad your kids are, I mean, you have four kids, combined family, right? Right. And then you have grandchildren. Right. So do you have energy to run around after those kids? Yep. Sure do. 
I don't know if enough to be a parent of a toddler or yeah. a youngster again. I think that's why mm-hmm. God gives kids to uh, young people. Yeah. But, but absolutely, yeah. I'm very right. active with the grandkids. Okay, well, that's yeah. wonderful. Uh, do you have other... Um, now, I talked about uh, Marsha's um, uh, music therapy. Do you have other things? I know that you're retired from huge jobs that probably took all your time, but do you have other hobbies besides... I mean... Sure. You're an engineer, so you probably build things and... I'm very handy around the house with <laughs> household things and vehicles and, and such, but I'm a, I'm really an outdoors guy. I'm a hunter. hunter. I'm a fisherman. I've, I've turned hunting into a 12-year sport by food plotting and putting in things for deer and quail and pheasants. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's great. And that's, that's great, exer- it's great exercise. It's great exercise. And it's really, really great exercise. Um, it used to be that my husband was the youngest in his hunting group, and now he would have to, like, carry some of the guys. <laughs> now he's not the youngest, but he's still having to carry some of the guys. <laughs> they just are getting older and older, and so I mean, it, it keeps you able to do all those things. And you're, and now that you know that your heart's better and you're on, you know, cholesterol's down and things like that, then that also would make me, being if I were Marsha, happier about you going out into the woods by yourself. You know, because that's a little scary as you as you get older. If you have if you have issues. You don't want your your husband to go out alone. I mean, I'm sure your kids go with you or something, but no, so. I'm out there alone sometimes, and she worries <laughs> about me. But that's just yeah. But you're better. Okay. You're all well now, oh, and now oh, you're 35. Right. She wouldn't worry if you were 35. Oh. Oh. You know, really 35. So you're 35 in body. I'm careful. So. Yeah. It, but it is nice to be healthy in that way again, and in fit and in shape, and, and you, I can and do you, what I want. And I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure all your friends are jealous. because it's i mean when you're good looking to start out with and then you lose all lose the weight it really is impressive i mean you do it's even better than if you're not good looking and lose weight i mean it makes you look even younger so i'm really uh, happy that you could come and spend this time talking to me and telling people what your experience is because i think men are a little bit more worried about getting pellets than women are and i think that it's there are many other options, but I also get men who have been through these other options and, and they've had lots of bad experiences. So I, I am convinced that this is the way to go and that you didn't have, you didn't go through that because Marsha didn't let you. But uh, I think that you'll be very healthy the rest of your life. You just look awesome. And your lab looks awesome because I have it here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. I did a little research, That's you know, beforehand. For. <laughs> so, so well, thank you for being with us. Thank you. And well, thanks for all you and Dr. Sullivan do for myself and for Marshall. Oh, it makes us it very, a, very it happy. Big difference for us. Thanks. Good. I'm so glad. It makes us very happy for you guys to be healthy and young, and we'll keep it that way. Thank you for listening. We'll be back next week. Not even sure what we're going to talk about next week, but this this was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.